oriented, very faith based. You'd be surprised how many of them. And they're very patriotic. You know, the sport of rodeo and paniolo, family, faith, you know, country that is very deep rooted in the culture here, especially in the state of Hawaii, because every island has their own different paniolo culture and different players, but we all have the same mana'o when it comes to paniolo. Hawaii has a really rich Paniolo culture that most people don't know about. So Pu'uwayu and double mugging, they were developed in Hawaii because the cattle were wild and loose in the jungle. And when you catch them, you had to do something because you didn't have the ability to just herd them through the open range. And if we don't have events like this rodeo, we will lose it. We won't know how to do those type of events. You know, I do this because I love the sport. You just don't want to see it end. So we want our kids to continue coming up and carrying on with the heritage and with the lifestyle. Well, it's the next generation, you know, coming up. And a lot of the guys here, we were keikis at once, you know, doing this. And everybody helped us get us where we we're at. And so we kind of keep that going, you know. Just since a little kid, we'd be out here working. Taught me just a lot about how to work hard and then be able to see those results and how it can affect so many people. It's like any other records that you hear about or see about. We're like, it was impossible to run, you know, it was a four minute mile or, or different things. But once somebody does it, then other people know they can do it.